Hey YouTube, this is Christina DeJanae here. And if you're new to my channel, um, go ahead and press that subscribe button down below, right there. Um, only if you want to, but <laughs> I mean, you should, but. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> All right, so this video is going to be me putting on my new human hair wig that I unboxed in my last video. But right now I'm going to show you some of the things that you're gonna need to style it um, the way that I am, which is not really styling. I don't even know how to style, but <laughs> just some things that you need um, that I use in this video. So, Let's get on with the video. Test, test, one, two, three. I hope this looks good because this is the way it's gonna look. Okay, so I figured the camera out. I'm just gonna talk through the mirror. Yeah. So, mm, but. Gotta get the wig. Well, the first thing I did to the wig was I cut the lace off as close as I could to the hairline. And then the second thing I did was put makeup. I used a brush and I dabbed in my makeup and I put it under the lace. So I'm gonna insert a video clip here of those, me doing those things like in fast motion with music in the background. <laughs> so here we go. Don't catch you slipping no. Don't catch you slipping no. Look what I'm whipping up. This is America. Here are some of the things you're going to need. You're going to need your wig, of course. You're going to need a spray bottle with water, a makeup brush with your makeup color that you like to use. Um, I don't think you have to do it every time, but I do it a little bit just to make sure it looks natural. Bobby pins, I use two bobby pins on the side. A denim brush, and this thing has just worked so well for me. I heard about it from another girl on her YouTube video, and she said you should go get it. I got it from Sally's, and it was like $10. It was kind of an expensive brush, but it was worth it. I forgot what these brushes are called, but this type of brush for like your front part, I guess. A wig cap. I see a lot of girls use brown, but I use black. I guess you, I don't know. I don't know if it matters or not, but I use a black one. But at Sally's, this lady, she recommended I use Cantu Care for Kids Curling Cream, and it has worked really good on this hair. Like when I first put it on there, I was like, yep. Yeah. Mm. I should probably, nope, I don't know. So, yeah, there you go. Any type of oil, this is human hair. It's like normal hair, but it's not your hair, but you know what I mean. So it needs oil and moisture and stuff like that. Okay, so let's get into it. So under my hat, I have some cornrows that my friend Shiva did for me. And just something, if you twist it down, whatever you can do to make your hair flat so it can look as natural as possible. The first thing you want to do is put on your wig cap. The second thing you want to do is put on your wig. And you always go back to front first. I always remember that. The front. So here it is on. 
You see how natural that looks? Yeah, it's really nice. Mind you, I'm not a hair person or a wig person, so if I can do it, I know anybody else can do it because I'm just not, it, I'm not. <laughs> I have two hair ties, so you're gonna put one to like separate this half away so it won't get in your way. And then separate this into two. So I usually do the back first and just like get this out of your way. Okay, eh, it's kind of out the way, but whatever. Now you're gonna take your I'm gonna put some more water in this. So, so you're gonna dampen your hair, and I wouldn't say drench, but I would dampen, damp. And make sure you get the ends, because the ends tend to be the most dry part. So you're gonna take your denim brush and just brush it. As you can see, this brush works wonders. Look at that curl. Look at that. Then, the next thing you're gonna do is take a little bit of your can too, not much. So I put this much, which isn't that much. And just put through the hair. And make sure you get the ends. I've worn this hair for, for about like a week now, I think. And you don't have to do this thing every day that I'm doing. Um, honestly, I just put oil on it in the morning. But sometimes I'll do this at night to like keep it moisturized so it won't get dry. And the hair won't want to break off or whatever. Main thing is, you don't want the hair to be get tangled. That's what you don't want. Like honestly, it doesn't take that long to do. Like this is the dry version. I haven't done this in a couple of days. And this is what it looks like when you moisturize it and stuff. Hmm, that needs some water. Yeah, like you should not brush this without it being wet because that's a no-no. That is a no-no. Just giving me life. Giving me life. <laughs> there you go. We've seen one half. Now I'm gonna do a speed up of the other half because that's just too much. Like y'all watching me do all that. That's gonna be a 30 minute long video. Mm -mm. And then y'all gonna click off the video. <laughs> He's like, what is this? Yeah, yeah, or I'ma get the pad. Yeah, yeah, I'm so cold like yeah. down here's how I do it so first there's two two thingies in here two combs so I make sure it's center and where I want it that looks pretty center and then I just push them in there I don't know what it is. and then there's a comb in the back Let's push that up okay so now, what I do is I take my edge control, wherever that is. I forgot to put that up there. Something we need. I don't know where that is. Here's something I use. I honestly haven't found something that's good for my hair because, like, they just make little flakes in my hair mm -mm. and I don't like it and this is it's not really that good of a hole but it doesn't make those flakes in my hair which I hate so this is what I use you do this and take your edge control brush or toothbrush or whatever you use and just do that and then I brush this down And honestly, I'm not really into the baby hair thing. 
so that's what most people will do at this point. I mean, like nothing against the baby hair thing, but I don't know how to do it and I'm gonna look crazy if I try to. So just to keep it simple, if you're a beginner like me, you just put this, you put the bobby pin on the side like this and that's like extra hold, repeat on the other side. I'm just gonna go get the edge control that makes it crusty. I don't care. <laughs> Maybe it's because it's extra hold. I don't know. But, oop. I don't know. But that's, that's the one that be making my hair crusty. And I just be like, come on. Okay, I lied. It, it didn't really make my hair that crusty. I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so yeah, take this out. And put it in a ponytail. Cause I don't know about y'all, but my edges gotta be, you know, wrapped up for a second. I know my friends are probably like, um, what is this girl doing? Tie this up. And you should keep this up there as long as you can. So usually while this is happening, I clean up because While I'm waiting, I'm gonna um, put, like I said, you're gonna need some oil, any type of oil, and just put it on the ends of your hair. The ends tend to get really dry and frizzy, and if you put oil up there, it's gonna help that. So, just put it on the ends. Just like that. Okay. Okay, so normally I would keep this on longer, but I gotta go. Ooh, lame. I'm like, oof. Let me back this up a little bit. So this is what it's looking like after you tie it up. And it, the, the edges will probably be a little more crisp if I let it stay some more, but I think it was like maybe five, 10 minutes. The whole point of a lace front is to make it look like your hair. So that's what you want to do. And yeah, I mean, right now it's looking pretty good. I think. Looking, I think it looks pretty good, but whatever. Oh, then you take it up, your little ponytail. I really love this curl. This curl is just bomb. It's bomb. The edges are bomb. It's just bomb. This is bomb. <laughs> like I said, I'm not an expert at this. I'm just so happy that at the fact that I can do this. L wigs, it's, they sent it to me pre-plucked bleached already all I did was put some makeup under it bought a brush and some curl some curl um, curl stuff curling cream that's all I needed for it to look like this okay, I give this wig a 10 out of 10 it was a little bit on the pricey side I paid around maybe $200 or so but I know it's gonna last a while I just really love this hair <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, go ahead and subscribe because you made it to the end and obviously you like watching me so you will like watching my other videos. Um, <laughs> anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you haven't watched my unboxing 
Um, you should go watch it. I'm unboxing this wig. I don't really know what else to say, so I will catch y'all in the next video. Bye. Hi guys, my name is Felicia. <laughs> I'm ready. I just got done. I made a video. Have one. Me putting the wig on. On my Kodak.